Hey everybody, it's me, and today I'm going to show you a hack you can do in Glide using an experimental code column that none other than our CEO David Siegel had created called the Fetch Column. So if you go to the Glide forums and search for the word Fetch Column, you'll come up with a recent post by David Siegel, and here he shows us how we can create an experimental code column that takes um, uh, an input of a URL, and that URL is pointing to some sort of API, and it returns a, um, a value from a returning JSON response. So, uh, for example, here he has one where it is just a uh, cat fact. <laughs> and uh, using just some jQuery, we can pull some data from um, the response from this cat fact to return the first fact here. Uh, uh, looking at other columns that exist out there, for example, for just uh, public APIs that exist, um, I was able to come across one called, uh, let's see, where is it at here? Uh, geocoding.ai, which provides worldwide forward, reverse, and uh, yeah, forward and reverse geocoding. And it doesn't take any sort of API key. So it's completely free to use. And so what I did was, is I dove into geocoding AI and I wanted to see what this is all about. And I wanted to do a quick search here. So I searched for like White House. Okay, and I saw that it found the White House right away. It also came up with all of these other hits as well. And then you see here that it has a data from API request. So if I click on API request, I see this is the resulting JSON data that also feeds this graphical list, right? So what I did was I just copied this JSON, dove into um, this codebeautify.org, which is a nice little way to view JSON more uh, cleanly. And I did a paste over here. Um, and you see that on the right-hand side, it gives me this array. What you can also do is from here, you can also copy this URL at the top and do load URL and do the same thing. Okay, it gives me the same data on the left-hand side and it gives me this array on the right-hand side. And so taking a look at this array, I see that these are, it gives me like nine hits, or I guess 10, sorry, 10 hits, because zero is the first. It gives me 10 hits of things that are related to White House. And in the first hit, I see that it has um, a latitude and a longitude and a display name. And so I can tap into these things uh, in Glide now. I can just start pulling this information. So I just did some copying and pasting from the Glide forum. Okay, so first what I did was I took um, a link construct column and an address column. Because ultimately what we want to do here, not this one, this is my old data. Ultimately what we want to do here is allow them to search using a text input and have that text input uh, give me some map, right? And so this text input is this text entry here under address. And then I want to convert this key search to a uh, URL. And I know what the URL should look like because it should look like this. You know, it has this geocoding.ai search.php question mark Q equals White House and format equals JSON. So this Q equals White House and format equals JSON. Those are two different parameters that we can include in a construct URL column in Glide. So what I did was, is I created that URL in this construct URL column. All right, so this should be a construct uh, geocode URL. So here's my HTTPS, this Nama team, Nama Nana team. <laughs> geocoding.ai, nama nama uh, search.php, so that's just the URL. And then we have the query parameters where format and queue relates to JSON, I just typed this in. And then the address field of the keyword search. Now I would make this a user specific field if it's not housed in the user sheet. Um, otherwise, if it's housed in the user sheet, then you can leave it as a regular field here. And then hit done. And this gives me the exact same URL Right, that I used here. All right. right, so then from this, I can now pull the latitude and longitude for this value uh, coming from this, uh, 
this 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 URL here, and this is leveraging that fetch column that David Siegel developed. And how you craft that is you'll need one column for the latitude and one for the longitude. I also have one for the display address that they provide for us as well. All right, so the latitude, um, this is going to be an experimental code column. I just called it lat. And the URL is that fetch column that David Siegel created here, which is this one here. And then the URL that's asking for is my construct URL. And then to figure out what the JQ query is going to be, uh, you can take a look at this code beautify and realize that we want the first hit, zero, right? And then the data for lat and long. So the way you format this, from what I've learned, is you place it with a, uh, if you're, if it, because it's part of an array, you put it with inside of square bracket. So you say dot square bracket zero, and then dot, and then whatever the next parameter is. In this case, it's lat. If we had, um, if we needed to go another one deep, like bounding box, I would say like dot zero dot bounding box, and then um, I could say, you know, array zero and get the Latin launch, I guess, that way too. All right, so you're just looking for these key values here, dot zero and then dot lat, which is what I put here. And that generates the latitude instantly. I then duplicated this column and grabbed the long. So I just edit it to do the LON rather than LAT. Okay, and lastly, I duplicated it and did the display address, where instead of dot LAT, I do dot display name, which is one of the parameters here. All right, so that gives me the latitude and longitude and, and the display address. Now, in order for the map to recognize it, we need to convert this lat and long to actually one value. So I just created a template column where I merged lat and long and separated them by a comma. And that gives me the lat and longitude. And this is what I'm displaying in the map. So altogether, for the data that we see here, right? If I were to get rid of White House here, all right, we see that there's no data. It gives me this null value. And again, what I would do if I was actually flushing this out is I would have some sort of condition that this map would only show if this latitude and longitude doesn't include null. And this title component that I have down here, same thing. It would not show if it contained null, but that's all right. Um, so then you see, as I start typing something, Wrigley, Right, and I start clicking into here again, you see it automatically and instantly finds this latitude and longitude and the first hit from the 10 hits of the array. So the more we type, right, the more accurate of a location we're going to get. Um, like the Willis Tower, right, in Chicago. Um, or Uh, the Taj Mahal, right, so forth. And if we, so then uh, we have the latitude and longitude, we have the path, right, we can copy the coordinates and paste them somewhere. Um, or we can copy and paste this address, this complete address, we're going to copy and paste that somewhere. Uh, clicking on this would open up Google Maps and direct us to that location. So um, really, really, really useful fetch column, especially if you know how to interact with um, with JSON data and uh, JQ query, which up until yesterday, I knew absolutely nothing about uh, how to manipulate JSON data or how to pull values from JQ query, but it only takes a few minutes to learn. And um, now you can do some really fun things with uh, extracting values from JSON. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out in the comments below or on Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.